Today's video is all about talking about some of Federico's recent tweets. Let's start with this one here, a uh, pretty basic one, but quite useful. Uh, now, if you click here, there is this option, remove thumbnail. This is the web client. If you are using uh, Evernote on your computer, the app, you can also right click the, the, the note here. But if we remove this, ta -da, that's gone. I would prefer to be able to select an image, but that's already good. So let's try something, reset default thumbnail. Yeah, it comes back, that's good. Uh, it used to be so complicated to know which image uh, would show up on the thumbnail. There was a, a way to know that, I, I guess, the width of the image, but there was this crazy, uh, priority uh, order <laughs> i don't remember it anymore but it, it would it would be possible to choose the the image by its size for now we can not for now but now we can only choose having it or not on the note which is already something good and i hope they bring back well not bring back but let us somehow choose the the, the image that we want as a thumbnail Next week, the Evernote mobile update will include a three times loading time improvement of the notes section. This is really good. I already uh, perceive Evernote much faster than before. And I think that has to do with all the improvements uh, brought by Rant. But I'm not a per and also removing the, the, the hum, the old hum, which I'm still sad about, but Anyway, there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Federico even talked about that uh, on, on his conversation uh, with Dave Pierce on on, on, Ver, on the Verge pot, Verge cast. That, that I, I was I always suspected of that. That the, all the widgets on Evernote Home they have to they had to I don't know be constructed. I don't I don't know what what would be the technical word here, but since each widget is composed by a combination of notes. Every time we would open Evernote, that homepage would have to find all the notes, all the information and compose those, those widgets. So that was something that, I, I don't know if there's a way to, it was a way to make that faster, probably not. So that's why they removed home. And I think that the fact that they removed home already made Evernote faster. I'm talking about the app, the mobile app, then, Rant, all the improvements brought by Rant, and now I don't know what they are doing. Um, to be honest, I know a little bit, but I can tell you. <laughs> um, you know what? Let, let, let me talk about this Twitter thing here. It took me a while to talk about uh, this uh, updates Federico is talking about here on Twitter. I, I come here because when he talks about it, I can talk about it publicly. I know that that's something that I can talk about. And that's the only reason I come to Twitter. I really don't like Twitter. And that's why it took me longer this time to, to talk about this. I was, today I was trying to create an automation. Uh, I tried it on uh, FTTT and I tried on Zapier. It's not possible anymore, FTTT, you have to pay. I was trying to create something that would uh, send er each, Federico's tweet to a notebook in my Evernote, and so I would see his tweets. I really hope he posts on other social media, but that's what it is. And kind of related to that, because I talked a little bit about it, there's, uh, if you are a supporter on Patreon or YouTube, there's a B-side video to this one. Okay, you find the links in the description below. Okay, let's talk about the third tweet, but before that, let me show you a clip here. Have you watched my video about my son coming to visit me? Uh, the one I talked about, the information I, his information, his ticket information I couldn't find in Evernote. Imagine if I could just type, when is my son coming to Porto in Evernote search box? That would be cool, right? I think it would. <laughs> Talking about audio, will we ever be able to ask? Evernote, <laughs> like an assistant. 
there are a lot of different ideas that that uh, people gave us and, and that we uh, that we had on how to interact. So you kind of already know what I would like to see on a feature like this. He's talking about a uh, new AI. There is this image here, uh, a notebook and a conversation. Can you write me a short recap of the holiday? And then the AI writes something. This is interesting, but uh, what I would like here would be a way to have a conversation with myself, with my ideas, with my memories. Thank you. Could you please remind me of when I have my flights and then the flights here? That's something I, I, I would also find useful. But really, what I would really want would be to have this conversation. And this is something that I do a lot with Gemini. It, this is the AI I use. I, I use Gemini because I already use everything from Google. I'm a workspace uh, user and they are they will be adding some features to workspace users so I wanted to get used to it and also I'm already sharing so much information with Google let's use Google instead of sharing information with other uh, other companies out there and by the way if you want to try Google workspace you can use this link I'll get a, a, a little commission anyway uh, uh, my conversations with Gemini work like that. Gemini doesn't have contacts, doesn't know anything about me. Maybe it does, but it can't tell me. <laughs> but it has context about the chat. I, I, I'm sure uh, chat TPD does the same thing. But what I'm trying to say is because I'm having that conversation, exchanging ideas and asking information about that topic, I can just go and say something like, okay, can you please uh, tell me this about about it or ask something without giving all the contacts again. And this is what I think would be great for uh, uh, having this chat in Evernote. He's talking about a notebook. I see that, I can see how that would be useful because you would restrict the conversation to the topic of that notebook. But I would like to have something that would cover the entire Evernote because, again, I would be able to have this conversation with myself, try to remember things and ask. The other day I was using the, I was watching a picture on my Google Home, the, the one with the display on the kitchen, and there, there's these pictures that show up there and sometimes I don't remember where the picture was taken. I asked Google to add the, the CD or more information, but sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. And then my wife had this idea. She asked Google where the picture was taken and the assistant replied and told us because of course the picture has the information. And I thought, wow, <laughs> that's so cool. I never thought about asking that. Something like that. But about everything that we have in Evernote, I think that would be so cool. But of course, it comes with all sorts of implications. Where is all this information going to? And that's a little bit worrying. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. If it is something too personal, I don't think I'll, I'll, I'll be that comfortable. But again, I'm from another generation, maybe people from newer generations are okay with that. They share so much online. But that, those memories are precisely the ones that I think would be taking more advantage of a feature like this. Uh, like, I'm, I'm gonna call it journal, but not a journal. Uh, I, I mean, the, the timeline, everything that happened in our lives and everything that Evernote has, being able to ask about that, those personal uh, moments, I think that would be cool and also asking about the future like he says here ask for when when the flights are coming um it's hard <laughs> and this has everything to do with the 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 b-side video i published for supporters this one is more related to that i would rather have this uh, uh Benny Spoons uh creating a model inside and not sending all this information uh to other let me see if he talks about this here we are considering building something like this scene screenshot 
what do you think? Um, nah, he doesn't talk about it. But I, 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 I read some concerns. So Evernote, okay, okay, for instance, I use Evernote. Uh, there's someone here. Here's what I'm talking about. This person asked, would this mean I can chat with Evernote about my data stored in Evernote? Or would Evernote only be acting as a, a gateway to an LLM that knows nothing about my data? And he says the former. So this would be uh, the idea is that probably they would be sending this to L an LLM. For real, okay, now I like the idea. I would probably still not use it in a note, maybe. Yeah, see, this is the, <laughs> this is the problem. At the same time, it would be so cool, but a person like me, uh, I don't know. What do you think about this? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.